This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Joe Malillo. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. It's almost as famous as Black Friday, and that's Small Business Saturday. Four years ago, American Express started the tradition designating the Saturday after Thanksgiving as Small Business Saturday. For small businesses, tomorrow rivals Black Friday in terms of discounts, promotions, and other shopper-friendly events. The goal of the day is to keep the money spent in small stores in the community. A new survey by the National Federation of Independent Businesses and American Express says that 70% of small business owners say the promotion is helpful in attracting new customers. And the Better Business Bureau is warning people to take caution when clicking on Cyber Monday. A record number of online shopping is expected this Monday. Nielsen estimates that 46% of customers plan to shop on December 2nd. Here are some things to watch out for. If you see free gift cards and it's too good to be true, it probably is. Also, when a product has a blurry photo, that's usually a bad sign. And make sure you're on a secure website. Look for the HTTPS letters at the beginning of a website's URL. That usually means it's secure. I put a full list of warnings on the website, on our website at WENY.com. And this morning is the 57th annual Elmira Downtown Holiday Parade. It starts at 10 a.m. this morning, but with the parade comes some road closures. Roads will be closed from 9 until noon. Streets to avoid during those hours is what are West Church Street, West First Street, West Water Street, and the Clemens Center Parkway. For a full list of road closures and a map, head to the website WENY.com. And Corning's 19th annual Parade of Lights is ready to start but it's not going to be moving this year, so the actually parade goers will actually have to move around it. Organizers had to change the parade this year because of construction on Route 352. The parade will still be as lively with floats and bands and emergency response vehicles. Streets will be closed starting tomorrow from 4 until about 8.30 at night. For a list of those street closures, go to WENY.com and click on our story. All right, now here's meteorologist John Hickey with your forecast. John. Well, you doing the moving tomorrow for that parade of lights, probably a good call. You know, it help you keep a little bit warm as temperatures are going to be pretty cool uh, by tomorrow afternoon. Here's your weather story for today and into your weekend. We're going to keep it cool. Temperatures have been below average all week, and that's a trend that will continue until about Sunday. Then we come close. <laughs> We've got temperatures then in the upper 30s, slightly warmer by then, as your second story goes. Quiet weather, though. We had all the active stuff earlier this week. Now we get a nice break. In fact, we're really not talking about more than a couple of flurries over the course of the weekend and then just totally dry really until we get to about Thursday. So future track today, flurries in the morning and then afternoon sunshine. Okay, temperatures though cool, five degree guarantee only at 30 degrees. So it's going to be cool if you're heading to the Elmira Holiday Parade. Tonight, very cold. Overnight lows around 10 degrees or so, perhaps even some upper single digits waking up tomorrow morning. Burr is the word. By tomorrow afternoon, though, warm it into the low 30s and even a little bit warmer than that as we go on towards Sunday. A lot of what you're seeing here from Future Track actually is very light and stays well north, but sure, a sprinkle, a flurry, it's possible on Sunday, but I think the chances are that we end up staying dry. In fact, on your first warning seven day forecast, I've only had a 10% chance of a sprinkle or a flake there for your Sunday. And we're going to keep it cool into next week, mid 30s, and there's your rain chance arriving on Thursday. That's your forecast. Here's Joe. All right, thanks, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 36, and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Joe Malillo. Have a great day, everyone.